To determine if a population is undergoing evolution, a reference frame is needed, which is provided by the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium principles. For example, in a recent study conducted by the Li Shui University in China, biologists genotyped a population of geckos. Then, they used these values to prove over a certain duration of time that a population of the species was not in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, which thus supported their hypothesis of evolution in the gecko species. The Hardy-Weinberg principle states that if the frequencies of alleles were to remain constant from generation to generation, the following five criteria must be met. The first assumption is that the population is large enough so that genetic drift, changes in the allele frequency caused by random events, is negligible. We can understand this point with the example of the flipping of a fair coin. As we know, a coin only has two sides, heads and tails. Thus, if we flip the coin thousands of times, the coin will be on each side about 50% of the time. However, if we do not flip the coin enough times, the results will have a higher chance of being unevenly distributed. Likewise, if a population is large, it is less likely to be affected by a sudden change of a portion of its constituents. The second assumption states that there is no gene flow across populations, whether it is migration or emigration. The offspring of the individuals will only include the alleles that were present in the original population. The introduction of foreign populations can bring about new alleles, altering the allele frequency. The third assumption is that there are no mutations occurring because this will add new alleles to the population. These newly created genes can then be passed on from generation to generation, which will result in changing frequencies in offspring populations. The fourth assumption states that random mating is also essential to the Hardy-Weinberg principle because it gives an equal chance for all alleles to be passed down to the next generation. Non-random mating can give advantages or disadvantages to certain alleles, allowing them to be passed down to more offspring than other alleles, increasing or decreasing the relative frequency in the population. Lastly, there must be an absence of natural selection. Natural selection increases the frequencies of favored alleles that offer benefits in survival and reproduction. These favored alleles will then be passed down through generations and their frequencies will increase, which again results in changes in allele frequencies. Therefore, if all of these criteria are met, the species will not evolve, the frequency of alleles will not change, and the population can be considered in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. Created using Powtoon.